All right, so we are on our way to East Syracuse right now um, because apparently in order to ship my gold chocolate milk, I have to get dry ice. I've never fucking bought dry ice before. I don't have gloves for it. Do I need gloves? Do, do you know, do I need gloves? I uh, know. All right. Arrived at Brown Carbonic Sales Company. So this is it. Brown Carbonic. All right, this is Brown Carbonic Sales. I'm going in to buy dry ice. <laughs> I already sent a dead body somewhere. I think, well, I gotta figure out, I don't even know how to do it. We're gonna go get it. Let's go see if we can get some ice. Um, I'm trying to ship chocolate milk <laughs> to somebody in South Carolina. Um, UPS told me I had to come here to buy dry ice. How do I just buy dry ice? I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna freeze it. The chocolate milk? Mm -hmm. Damn it. So what, should, what do you rec Do you have any ideas? Because I'm trying to buy four glass jars of the burned dairy chocolate milk to ship mm -hmm. somewhere. Do you have any other ideas then? No. She says it's gonna freeze the chocolate milk. So it's not in plastic. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not in a plastic bottle, it's glass. The chocolate milk is a glass jar. Huh. Uh, crack your glass. Okay, so do you have any other, how, any ideas? Drive it down there yourself. Uh, I'd get the plastic. Okay. I mean, the glass will crack. Okay, yeah, and I definitely don't want And you have to freeze it, so you're gonna have to open it up. Oh, this sounds like such a crazy... Because dry ice is gonna, you know, try and freeze it. It's gonna try and bring it down to its temperature, and while it's doing that, it's gonna freeze it. So either some of it's all gonna be frozen, or you freeze it, and then you ship it frozen, and the dry ice will work. You only need five pounds if you do it over. You have to freeze your product. Yeah, and that's not gonna, I mean, chocolate milk probably is not... Well, you can freeze milk. They used to do it in the olden days. Yeah, but is it going to be by the time he gets it and then he has to let them yeah, all well, fall? Have to thaw because yeah. dry ice is 110 below zero. It's going to it's gonna freeze it solid. All right. Do you know of any other ways then to ship it without actually having to freeze it? No. Like anything else? That'll no, be because cool. now it's starting to get warm. Yeah. I mean, if it was in the middle of the winter and we had below zero temps, okay. I would say no. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I have a question. So, um, I was trying to ship chocolate milk to somebody in South Carolina. I'm trying to figure out the best way to ship it because UPS told me that I needed to get dry ice. So I went to get dry ice and they basically told me, well that, first of all, you can't ship dry ice with glass jars. My brother insists on it being the chocolate milk and glass. They said the dry ice is gonna crack the glass. You can't use that. So then they told me to use dry ice you have to freeze the chocolate milk. And I'm like, I don't wanna have to freeze the chocolate milk and then have him um, free him like this just sound, it's an overnight shipping. Do you know of another way? <laughs> like, is there an insulated package I can do that I can put the chocolate milk in and then maybe put something in to keep it cool overnight? Or I can't think of any other way to do this. Um, you could also freeze it. Well, that's what she well, said was she to freeze it. it, and I'm like, but then freezing it, and then shipping it, and then him having to unfreeze it, and I'm like, how does It'll that? It'll probably be unfrozen by the time you get the. But if you ship it overnight. But with the dry ice, or. You can't do the dry ice because dry ice will still crack the glass. Okay, but I can freeze the glass jars, and then ship those it. like because that. Hoffman sends their hot dogs that way, and they freeze all that. Okay, so if I go buy glass jars and then freeze them. Then I can just put them in a, a, a regular box. Should I? Yep, it, it can wrap be. it really well so that once it starts to defrost. The yeah, like with bubble wrap and stuff. Can yeah, I? Should I just paper. something to yeah soak up and the, paper? The moisture. Oh, okay. So I wrap it in paper and then wrap it and then yeah, I'll just kind of do like a layer thing. Yeah. yeah. Right. But um. So I'm gonna wait then because if I have to get the chocolate milk and freeze it, then it's obviously not gonna be. I think it's gonna take a little while for all of them to freeze. Right. But, do it on Monday. So then, yeah, I'll wait till Monday, Monday to I'm ship it to. We don't close until 8.30, so if you get here around 8 o'clock, just basically Having taking it, it out, ready to go, packing yeah. it, it's just going to basically get on a plane and go. Okay. So. Cool. All right, now to beat the system, we need bubble wrap. <laughs> I need some bubble wrap. Which one should I get? Oh, I know. That one. 
This one? Nah. This I one? that one on the top. Because that's the one you used to get. Which one should I get? That one. You think so? Yeah. So there's color ones. Huh. Should we wrap them in color? Yeah. So that's the bubble wrap we're going with. All right, so now we need to go find a cooler to put it in, all right? Yeah. Okay, so I plan on beating the system. I can't use dry ice because it will crack the glass. And Uncle Bubba only wants glass chocolate milk. Yeah. So, I'm going to put it in a cooler, wrap put it with bubble one. wrap. They have a bunch of different ones. That one. I like the green one. All right, so we're going to get one of these coolers, okay? So here's my new plan. They wouldn't let me use dry ice with the glass jars. Michael wants glass jars. That's what he's going to get. So... I have our cooler. Mama, don't feel it. Our ice sheets I got, which are like cubes. I'm going to put them in. Got some bubble wrap, some paper, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get these chocolate milks wrapped up and they're in the cold. cooler. Yeah, they're supposed to be. We're going to try and ship some chocolate milk to Uncle Bubba. What do you say? Yeah. All right. I hope this thing works. in a box with packing peanuts it's gonna be okay I got it all stuffed with ice and bubble wrap hopefully everything will be okay let's go to UPS and get this in a box and ship it out right fingers crossed all right here we go chocolate milk coming coffee. your way Bubba all right we are at UPS we're gonna get a box, okay. get it all it's packed up in here. And put peanuts in it. But yeah, we're gonna get them to get some peanuts to put in here. Yeah, this one. yeah that one's pretty. It's got all kinds of colors. All right, so we're waiting our turn. We're gonna ship it out to Mike. All right, let's see. What is it? This is gonna be interesting. But Uncle Bubba wants chocolate milk. It's 1880. Yep, 18 pounds. All right, we are all done. Say bye-bye, chocolate milk. Look. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I touched it. So there you have it, guys. The chocolate milk has been shipped. I'm really, really glad that this worked. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do when the whole dry ice thing fell through. Um, I've never used dry ice before. I've certainly never tried to buy it before, <laughs> especially to ship anything. I've just I've never dealt with dry ice before. I mean, I know what it is, but... 
Wasn't even thinking, didn't know it was going to clack, uh, clack, clack, clack. Didn't know it was going to crack the jars. So, um, had to rethink things. I didn't want to freeze the chocolate milk and then have Michael unfreeze it. It just seemed like the whole separation. I called Burn Dairy and I wanted to talk to their, uh, control. So, and they basically said, yeah, no, you don't really want to freeze it and then unfreeze it and then with all, it's just... It's not going to taste the same. It's just not. So, um, yeah, definitely had to think of something. So I'm really excited that the cooler worked. They basically took that whole cooler I packed and they put it inside of another box with packing peanuts and then shipped it on out overnight. So hopefully everything is going to get to Michael tomorrow and nothing is going to be broken. I have a fear that there's going to be chocolate milk and glass shards inside the cooler. So I'm really expecting the worst but hoping for the best. Really excited. I'm glad this worked. Um, I'm just excited and nervous to see what happens when Michael actually gets the package. So um, yeah, that's about it for now. Uh, Michael, I really hope you enjoy every last drop of this chocolate milk because it was quite a hassle. Well worth it. I'd do it for you a million times over because I love you. But yeah, definitely a pain in the ass, but I'm glad now that we got it worked out, I mean, it won't be a, a hassle next time. I just know what to do now. So, um, yeah. Anyways, Michael, Bridget, I hope you guys really enjoy your burned dairy. I love you. <laughs> hope you guys liked watching. If you did, like, subscribe. If you didn't, like, subscribe. Have a good night, guys.